closer I get to you. The more you make me see. But give it me all you got. Your love has captured me. Over and over again. I try to tell myself that we would never be more than friends. And all the while inside, I knew it was real. And may you make me feel lying here next to you. Time just seems to fly. I gotta let that time pass. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <coughs> welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I want to put this story in perspective. For poor Caitlin, poor Caitlin Clark, poor Angel Reese, <laughs> poor all, uh, poor all the other women playing in the NBA before Caitlin Clark got there. And let's hope we cannot let um, this negativity overrun sports. Because you know, as our great Dr. Francis Crest said, we have... We have um, racism in everything. Everything that we do. And I'm talking about black people now. Okay? Everything. I know y'all don't want to hear that. Oh, no, no. You got, you got money. You got. It's in education, economics, entertainment, labor, right? Law. All these areas. Religion, politics, sex, and war. All those things. Now, just think about that for a minute. We have to, as especially people of color, black folk, we have to deal with this kind of craziness um, up under this these cowards that we have to live up under. You know, people get mad at me when I talk like that, but I'm like, you know, a lot of us, the very presence of us being here is a crime, a crime that was never rectified, okay? It was never rectified. And so it's really difficult for y'all to understand how, you know, we're not going to just pull ourselves up, shut up and dribble. After y'all have committed all these atrocities against us and then tell us to go shut up and dribble while you continue to uh, dog us out, continue to steal from us, continue to allow our bodies to be used for fodder for a system that, that has never, has never protected us. And you want us to keep this going. Okay. So it really bothers me. Um. You know, when I see people that don't want to deal with the reality of living here in America, but you want to put it all on people like Caitlyn and put it, and I feel bad for her because, first of all, I'm open minded enough to know look, this girl is from Iowa, where my brother went to school in Council Bluffs. All you see is cornfields and white people. That's all I remember seeing going up to visit them. Cornfields and white people. So most of the white people didn't even have no swag like city white folk that you that you might have go, you know, went to school with. And they were basically fascinated by all the ball players that came from Iowa because they don't have a, a large 
black population. So when Caitlyn um, doesn't respond and she seems kind of historic to some things, it's a, first of all, it's a lot to put on a 22-year-old kid. And her swag is different than Angel Reese. Angel Reese is from B-more. So Baltimore is a whole different animal than Iowa. So she's a little rough around the edges. She can deal with it, but it's hard on everybody. She told you when she when she was at the podium in college, she shed a few tears. She said, I have to, you know, I, I'm just going to embrace this villain role because that's what y'all giving me. But I want her to know, baby, if that's not what you want, you ain't got to embrace nothing. Nathan. Because economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. Each one of those subjects, each one of those compart compartments are just reeked and oversaturated with racism. So, Caitlin Clark isn't exempt. And don't think they love her so much. The, 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 the people that love division are using her to keep stoking these race fires because America has nothing else to offer unless it wants to offer a situation of race. Race. You can feel the shit when you get off the plane. If you if you out the country, and then you and then you enjoyed yourself, you didn't feel that uh, uh, blanket of race everywhere you went. You didn't feel it. It was just a, a shedding of a skin. And as soon as you get on the airplane, coming back, the closer you get to America, the more that hate you feel. The more of the so it's a cloud over America. That's negative. It's it's evil. And it's 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 done had and then you got all these crazy people who have been led astray, who think they're smart and think everybody else is, is dumb. You have these people in control. So with a uh with Caitlin Clark, what I wanted to say, what was really um good to me. And what was really thoughtful was, at first, Caitlin Clark was like, well, you know, I don't focus on that. I just don't want to. And, and, and then uh, the girl named, I think it's uh, De Dejeuner or Dejani Carrington, she said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I understand you don't want to talk about this. Neither do we. But just like the Jews say, never again. They don't get tired of talking about it. And you can't get tired of it either. Uh I understand what you're saying, but how are you going to say you just play ball when you have a, a league that's predominantly black, a bunch of uh, and uh, some uh, lesbians, not all, uh, but how are you going to allow our league to be set up for, mis for misogyny, um, uh, 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 you know, just negative connotations behind people's sexuality, the race component. How are you going to see all this and play in this league and represent that represents a lot of black women and then say, well, I don't want to talk about that. That's impossible. You can't do that. You can't, you can't do that. So even if, and then I, I, I respect the fact, and this is what I mean by Caitlin. I respect the fact that Caitlyn came back and she said, listen, I don't want nobody using my name, my likeness, for anything like that. She spoke up. She said something. But you know who said, uh, who I really am just sick and tired of because I wish they would not par parade her out because she's lost. And that's Serena Williams. Serena Williams is lost. She bleaches her skin. She's not the same little girl that, you know, that was okay with her features, that she had to get her face sculpted and let them people tell her, oh, that's okay. She had on blonde hair. I mean, this 
is a woman from Compton. And I'm not saying Compton is the best place to be. What I'm saying is she hates herself so much that she had the nerve to say, oh, I agree with Caitlyn. I don't get involved with that. Well, Caitlyn's took change her stand, and yours is still out there as a black woman. Your, your opinion about this whole sh uh, charade is still out there by yourself as a black woman athlete. And you sound stupid. So I wish you wouldn't even open up your mouth anymore, um, uh, uh, Serena. I really do. Because you become a complete disappointment, not only for the black community, but for any community that's trying to get uh, liberation. you just a waste. You're a waste. So I'm glad Caitlin Clark said that she don't want y'all using her image. For you to hide behind your uh, uh, um, evil deeds, your racism, because they realize that you, the sexism and misogyny that go on here, she knows they don't give a damn about her. They just using her like they do everybody. Use you because their job is to divide and conquer, divide and conquer. And anybody that don't want to speak truth to that, uh, you they should just be dismissed. It ain't a matter of you um, listening to my opinion. Just follow the facts. Follow the history. And if you do that, then, a, then God will lead your mouth to speak what needs to come out of it. Because you got uh, people on the planet now that, that want to gas, gaslight you and make you think that everything is all hunky-dory. You're imagining and hallucinating. No one's racist. Racism was fixed when Barack Obama was president. But I know the majority of people, not those politicians, the majority of people wanted to see change. And when you see the sea of folks that gathered around when they thought that when they saw Barack Obama being president, that they were really going to see a change in America, there wasn't just black people. There was white people. That that sea of folks was so huge that Donald Trump punk ass is still using it to deceive crowds today and try to make it seem like it's his. Those was his crowd. <laughs> that, that's, you know, and, 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 and so that's the ideal of most people most people don't want to get up and deal with hatred every single day it's insane in america with all her beauty and splendor is the father and mother of all hatred europeans have put themselves in a position now we can call it We've been could call it ever since the Belgian conference. You see how they how who they are. But something has to be done. You know, and what it is is we're gonna have to take the power back. Somehow, some way. And it may be uh you know, wishful thinking, but we got to try. Because what they doing to those kids now, the young ladies, 22-year-old, trying to put the whole uh, coat of racism on them. Caitlin Clark, because she's a good-ass basketball player. One of the best shooters I've seen a la from Stephen Curry. And for her to have to carry that weight on her shoulder is just not fair. It's not fair for Angel Reese. But at least she can come from both sides. Caitlin is just a white girl from Iowa that's been around white people. She don't mean no harm, in my opinion. Because once she was told, once she was made to recognize that, hey, you representing the league with a lot of women in here that's black, that's, that's you, what are you doing? What are you, if, if you ain't got nothing to say, you're going to let people use you? Serena Wheels was okay with that because she's okay with being used like that. But 
Caitlyn was like, hell no. People that's using my name to keep this stuff going, I ain't with it. And she let it be known. Okay? So, I think when we start talking about Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark, and the racism, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of uh, Reese getting knocked to the ground, uh, um, Asia Wilson getting busted in the nose, and nobody saying anything, and then if somebody pushed Caitlin, y'all want to talk shit. Don't nobody want to hear that. If she want to play ball, she she going to have to deal with it. Okay, and if y'all can't deal with it, you need to stop watching the WNBA. That's that's really what I my take on it. From Charles Barkley, uh, Stephen A. Oh, we don't even want to talk about that 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 guy. Anyway, I'm I'm done because I want to know what y'all got to say. I want to know what your thoughts are con, uh, pertaining this. What is it? Because I sure want to know. And I'll see you in the next video. If you like what you hear, y'all, please subscribe, share my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.